Well, I did it again. I ended up on nail TikTok. I'm gonna react to more TikTok nail videos. These make me feel insane sometimes, these TikTok nail videos. They make me question everything. <laughs> I, hmm. If I gotta watch these videos, I'm gonna tell you why they're wrong or why they're right or why they're absolutely ridiculous. I can't take it anymore. <laughs> no, cause it's actually not funny, like I'm pissed. I am also not sure about this one, if it's rage bait, if it's just trying to get interactions. I'm not entirely sure because I'm not entirely sure what she expected to happen when she chomped down on what looks like an acrylic nail. She wanted them off because she had two missing. Don't do that. It's not good for your teeth. It's not good for your nails. Like did you, when she bit down on it, it just went which means like all those cracks could have cracked her natural nail also, which could cause permanent damage. So just don't do that. All you have to do is get some nail clippers, clip off the tips, like clip off all the extra length of the free edge down to your natural nail or to the tip of your finger, wherever. You can even just stop there and give them a quick file over the free edge. If all it was was they were long and getting in your way or whatever, just do that. They're going to look thick and a little bit weird, but at least you have your fingertips to do what you need to do, right? I would just recommend making an appointment with your nail tech, going to the salon, whatever, and asking them to remove them. If it's a situation of you go to a nail salon and they pull out dental floss or a nail tip to like pry them off your nail, walk away. If you're seeing a reputable tech or going to a reputable salon, they will remove it properly. They'll either file off the entire thing with an e-file and a hand file and a buffer, or they will file off most of it and soak it in acetone. You can also do that at home. You may not have an e-file, and I don't suggest using an e-file if you aren't trained, but you can go to Sally's, get yourself a nail file with a decent grit, especially if it's an acrylic because those are harder to file off. Put on a mask because you're gonna create a lot of dust and you don't wanna breathe that in, and just file, 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 file. As you get closer to the nail, be more aware of where you're filing. You don't even have to remove all of the product if you don't want to. You can just file it thin and then let it grow out. That's absolutely fine if that helps you. You can also file off the bulk of the product and then soak in acetone. Use an orange wood stick. Again, you can get it from Sally's or the drugstore and gently just push off the product that ends up breaking down from the acetone. Push it off, give it a quick file, look at it, see how much product is left on your nail, soak it a second time, gently scrape it off. It's a process. No one said it's gonna be easy. It's definitely a process, but don't, why? Why are you, don't bite your nails off. Don't do it. It's gross. But again, I don't know if this is rage bait or not. I just don't know anymore. I just can't trust anybody on the internet anymore, especially TikTok. I just don't know what's going on. I'm too old. Acrylic nail done at the Chinese won't come off. My nail has even started visibly regrowing under it now. I don't know what that video is. First of all, at the Chinese, I don't know what race or what other cultures have to do with your nails. And also a lot of Asian run nail salons are Vietnamese. That's not to say that Chinese nail techs don't exist. They absolutely do. Nail techs exist all over the world from all different cultures and races. And I don't know what their culture or race has to do with anything because there are really bad nail techs all over the world and there are really good nail techs all over the world. At the Chinese? What the fuck? I'm wondering if like whoever did it, it was an MMA situation. It does not want to come off of your nail. It, 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 it's adhered. You can check out my other video. It has way more detail about what MMA is. And it looks like it was growing out and it broke like her actual nail. Like it looks like it might've cracked and then continued growing. I have questions. This is your fault for letting your nails grow out that long. This has nothing to do with the salon you went to. Like it, it very well could be MMA and that's not good. But like, you're the one who let your nails grow this long. 
and you're the one who didn't go back to a salon to either get them removed or get them filled or whatever, you let them grow this long. Like, I don't know what you expected. That is how you cause damage to your nail. It has nothing to do with the tech, nothing to do with their race. No, you are in the wrong person with this fucked up nail. You are in the wrong. Also for being racist. Like, even, even if they didn't want to go back to the salon, why didn't they just clip off the excess free edge and file down the product? What is wrong with you, Sam Scott XOX? You're racist. And kind of dumb. Just saying. Don't let your nails grow that long with product on them. Get them filled, get them removed, chop off the free edge. I'll insert a video here that explains everything as to why you should not let your nails grow this long and why you need to get maintenance regularly if you want to keep product on your nails. I'll insert it right here. My nail tech was like, what do you want on your nails this time? And I said, Sarah, I have two words for you. Strawberry, lemonade. And she said, so you want like, strawberries painted on there or like lemons painted on there and I said no I want like the vibe of the aura of strawberry lemonade the energetic frequency of strawberry lemonade which is also like the frequency of like summer is fun actually summer has been kind of more depressing recently um then it's been fun and I just feel like maybe if I could look at my nails and remember that summer is also the season of strawberry lemonade I'd be like well it's not all bad you know and maybe I could have fun and she was like, so you want a set of nails that is going to cure your depression? And I said, yes, I think that's a very reasonable expectation. It's an absolutely reasonable expectation. <laughs> like actually not, your nails cannot cure depression. You need a therapist, you need medication, but getting your nails done in the most perfect way that you could imagine isn't gonna hurt. <laughs> She's so cute. I to be able to see both hands at once. So you are currently propped in my boobs in my bra um enjoy that but doesn't this just look like i am outside with my girls and we are so pretty and it's summertime doesn't this just look like summer can be fun your inner child loves you love her back doesn't this doesn't this look like all your problems are okay everybody go watch the sunset my nails told you to oh my god i love that one so much <laughs> the little like gingham print with the like sort of ombre watercolory pink and yellow oh my god they're so cute that is that is definitely strawberry watermelon vibes 100 percent strawberry watermelon vibes beautiful love it absolutely love it this this is a good nail tiktok this makes me feel <laughs> less mad at the world <laughs> or at the TikTok world at least. I have one last video. It's not even a full video. It's just a clip of a video that I would like to share with you. I came across this one creator and she made this statement and I would just like to address it. So I just paid $200 to get my very first Russian manicure. Psych. I would literally never do that or recommend that to anyone. Last time that I went, they charged me $90 for a set. Something is wrong with the nail industry right now. So I challenged myself to find the cheapest press ones. That I There's <laughs> nothing wrong with the nail industry right now. It's capitalism. There is something wrong with the world and it's capitalism. Nail prices have increased because the price of everything else has increased. So in order to continue being able to make a living as a nail tech and purchase quality products and give you time, energy, education, and knowledge to properly do your nails, we have to charge that much to be able to do your nails. And she's saying that she went and got a full set, I'm assuming some sort of French tip for $90. Like that's decent. I charge 85 for a full set. Like there is experience, education, and knowledge behind what I'm offering you and quality in my work and in the products that I use. I'm not purchasing anything from like Amazon, Shein, Timu, anything like that. Everything I get is from reputable nail suppliers, reputable brands. I can't say the same for every single nail tech and every single salon out there, but $90 for a full set from a reputable tech, that's pretty inexpensive. Okay, no, wait, let me take that back. It is not inexpensive, $90 in 2024 is a fair price for a full set of nails. And I'm assuming they were like a French tip or something. That's a fair price in my opinion. I think it's important when talking about the pricing of nails, it's not just the matter of like all of the experience and knowledge that your tech might have, but it's also important to keep in mind like the financial situation of the world. Rent has increased 
drastically. The price of homes have increased drastically. The price of groceries have drastically increased. Shit is going bananas in the world when it comes to money. When you look at the actual cost of living in your area, take into account that the service providers who are offering you these services have to pay all of those as well. Plus they have to pay whatever other utilities they might be using, whatever supplies they might be needing. Like if they are business owners, they have to pay all of that for their business as well. So not only are they trying to just make a living offering you this service, they also have to pay to keep their space open. Even if they work out of their home, there's still extra costs that they accrue. There's extra hydro. Hydro is electric in Canada, by the way. So there's extra electricity. There's extra cleaning supplies. There's so many different things that you have to take into account that they're not just buying groceries and paying rent with the money that you give them. They are keeping those products stocked to be able to service you. And like if you're paying $200 a week for groceries, your nail tech is also paying $200 a week for groceries or whatever you might be paying. You know what I mean? If you're paying $2,500 for a one bedroom apartment, chances are your nail tech is paying the same amount for a one bedroom apartment. There's not something going on in the nail world. It is the world. And in order to make your nail services less expensive, the price and everything has to come down. Or because that's probably not going to happen. Wages have to increase to make up for the inflation of the cost of living and then paying whatever you might be paying for your nail services won't seem so extreme, if that makes sense. It's not the nail world, it's capitalism. <laughs> it's the CEOs and the shareholders need to make sure that they are still getting record profits while people can't afford to stay in their homes. I just wanted to address that because I see those comments a lot when people post what their prices might be or whatever. I see a lot of comments on people being like, oh, I remember when I paid $25 for a full set. I would never pay more than $50 for this. Blah, 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 blah. You don't have to. No one's forcing you to. But like the $25 nail sets are 25 years ago. It's just frustrating when people are just like, the nail world's gone insane. How dare you expect to be able to charge that much? Do you actually think that's how much you're worth? Well, I mean, if eggs weren't so goddamn expensive, I wouldn't have to charge this much. If a basic family home wasn't a million dollars, this wouldn't be such an issue. Like if we weren't in a housing crisis, maybe I wouldn't have to charge $90. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is not something that you need to take out on the nail salons and the nail techs. This is something that you need to address with your government. Anyway, that's gonna be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it didn't frustrate you as much as it frustrated me and you possibly even learned something question mark. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did like it. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below. It doesn't even have to be related to what I talked about in the video. Any comment helps the algorithm and that's what we want. Algorithm help. And also you can subscribe to my channel. It's mostly nail content, but like I'm going to post whatever I want. So do with that what you will. And on that note, I will see you in my next video. Bye.